Switching gears to NASA now, actually changing its plans because of Hurricane Ian, delaying its Artemis 1 launch that was planned for this week. But today, NASA is focused on a different type of mission. The agency is going to intentionally crash a spacecraft into an asteroid millions of miles away. They're doing this because they're testing their ability to redirect one, just in case there's ever one on a path threatening Earth. For more on this historic attempt, we have the head of science at NASA, Dr. Thomas Zerbukin. Uh, Dr. Z, good morning. How are you today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. Um, you know, this is an experiment. It's one of its one of a kind. Uh, I just find this so fascinating as you try to knock this asteroid off course. First of all, uh, why do we need a method of defense like this? And is this safe, like in the grand scheme of things, to mess with space this way? Uh, so first and foremost, we just saw these uh, hurricane forecasts, and so much of that comes from space, from a tool set that we built uh, here at NASA together with our sister agencies, and we're so proud of that. And just like we're protecting lives on Earth here with hurricane forecasts, we want to do the same by having a tool in our toolbox to really help uh, uh, humanity here. Yes, it's safe. There's no uh, chance that this body will hit the Earth, but we want that tool to actually help just in case. D Dr. Z, how will we know if, if, if this works? <laughs> That's true. So you see this graph up there where you see a small body, uh, dimorphous, uh, going around a bigger body. And the yeah. small body, if you just want to uh, scale, is about two and a half times the Empire State Building in, in scale. Oh. And it's going around it as we are hitting it head on with 15,000 miles per hour. Oh we will oh slow it down a little bit. And so kind of that time it takes for rotation will slow down by a minute, up to three minutes and so forth. That's how we'll know. Wow, and I'm sure you'll keep us posted when you yeah. do it. While we have you, I also want to ask you about NASA's Artemis One flight. It was supposed to launch this week, and it's now being potentially rolled back a third time. Can you quickly talk about the factors that go into making that decision? Yeah, for us, of course, the highest priority is always the health of our people and that property as well, right, and of the safety of the property. And what the team has done, and I think exactly the right way, is taking the best input they could get from that. National Hurricane Center, and then also just really uh, kind of the, the kind of state of the hardware that's out there on the pad. And they're trying to make a decision. I think as we speak right now, the team is convening and kind of trying to chart a path forward as they look at the most recent forecasts. So when is the next window that we can see the launch happen? So it depends, right? If we roll back, uh, the next window is kind of in the late uh, November, because we, what we want to do is, is get back, kind of redo all the systems, you know, the launch abort system, the ones that keeps all the population safe, just in case of an emergency as well. Uh, also, the, the hardware, just really look at it, check it one more time. And then, of course, the moon needs to be in the right part of the sky for us to hit it. So it's late November. Uh, if we roll back, uh, if we don't roll back, it's kind of early, uh, uh, you know, Early this uh, uh, month, or kind of early October, we have another uh, shot on goal, so to say. So, so that's where we are uh, at this moment in time. As as we said, uh, perhaps in a, a few hours we'll we'll know the path forward, which way uh, we're taking. As they say, if there's a fork in the road, take it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we know you guys are being very careful, Dr. Zabukin. Thank you so much, and good luck with everything you guys have going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really appreciate it. Thanks for your interest. Absolutely. Uh, of course, you can catch live coverage of the Dart asteroid crash. <laughs> An asteroid crash. This is wild. You can catch that tonight, beginning at 6 p.m. Eastern on NASA TV. Nice. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.